Hello everyone, and welcome to the SM64 TAS Tournament round of 16. 16 competitors will enter, only 8 will leave. Who will make it on into the next round to be able to figure out if they are the best SM64 TASSer of all time, of all time. I am your host, OneTed59, and before we start, I would like to show off the excellent ghost uh, compilation made by, of course, the legendary Dadu. He's made these so many times, it's... it's great. Press start, to play. Press start to play. Even Mario wants me to get on with it. The previous round, in Cool Cool Mountain, entered the custom modified top bridge warp and collect the three red coins on the map. Only three of them. And, of course, by collecting the red coin star. Everyone knows you get three red coins, the star spawns, right? So, there were a total of 32 entrants. Because, well, it's a power of two. Half the people get eliminated every time. And, with all of the entrants, let's watch this ghost compilation video. That is where they spawned. This is the lower half. All of these people, unfortunately, did not make it in. You can see... What was that guy on the left? What were they doing? That was uh, Cinnable's run. The only run that actually used the wind to be able to make it up. Unfortunately, not enough to actually make it into the top half, but still looked really cool. All these other runs, a lot of varied routes in the bottom half. Let's see, a lot of Mario is going into the star. LRF Lou, unfortunately, picking up the slack at the end. Has to go back for that final red coin. This is the top half. You'll notice a lot more glitchy wall kicks here to get up. Basically, everyone did those glitchy wall kicks. A couple people went over to the red coin on the right, while others went over to the red coin near the ski lift. So those people all have to go up to that red coin now, but the other ones can just go to the corner red coin. There is Dylan Stedge sniping the first place victory. I just want to watch this one more time, because there's a whole lot of varied routes here. Pay attention to the Marios that do glitchy wall kick, to, uh, compared to the ones that don't, and you can see how much faster that glitchy wall kick is. There's just so many different varied routes. This is an excellent task. Big shout outs to all the task competition organizers. It looks so cool. And big shout outs to Dennis as well for making this. This is incredible. There's so many Marios on one screen. You can tell all the Marios really collecting coins. And this is the top half one more time. Just want to show it off. It looks so cool. How can you not love this kind of stuff? It's me, Mario. Wow. Excellent free run. I love this glitchy wall kick. But even Mario is saying, okay, it's ahead. <laughs> Press start to play. We've watched this twice. Next up. For the next entrant, or rather, for... <laughs> this is the quarterfinals. Only a quarter of the people are actually left in that entered. The 64 that actually entered in the beginning. In the quarterfinals. In Hazy Maze Cave. Enter the warp. Wall kick, break, or land on the six cork blocks. And finish by collecting the red coin star. The red coin star is in its regular location. Some of these blocks have actually been modified. Like that one, for example. You can see here's the custom warp. Spawns you right where Mr. I is. So, these custom blocks are interesting. How do you land, wall kick, or break on? Wait, hold up. Break, wall kick, or land on, rather. All six of them, while still being fast. Well, there were a total of 16 entrants this time. Because, it turns out, people get disqualified. Or not disqualified, people get eliminated after each round. 16 entrants only left right now are some of the most elite SM64 tasters of all time. Who will make it on into the round of eight? Who will be in the top ten of best tassers in 2020? Let's start it off. Starting off, unfortunately, not making it. <laughs> oh no, I already showed CSE's placement. Rip. Unfortunately, in dead last place. Did not expect to see this person in dead last with how good they've played in some of the other ones. The fact that they've made it to this round is still a testament to their skill. Don't get me wrong. This guy is still really good at SM64. Just maybe not a, getting this round very well compared to the others. Unfortunately, in dead last place, with a time of 16 seconds, it is Tabla. 
one placing per second. Better luck next time to Tava. Let's load up their run and see what they did. Description. Hello, this is 11059. I'm just acting like I'm reading a description. I was taking into confinement by the city and your experience with me. Please assign help. Okay. What a great description. <laughs> yeah, unexpected big rip right at the very start. Starting off by going into the warp. Diving past the star. Landing on the first box and doing a glitchy wall kick already. Two glitchy wall kicks already. Wow. Landing on that box right there. Barely managing to get the dive off of it. That box... Mostly landing on a lot of the boxes. I don't recall breaking that one as well. Wow. Nice spoilers, Nim. SMH. Great job, Tabo. Let's watch that one more time. We're definitely doing a double watch on at least all of these. There's only 16 entrants. We got time. How is this run got last place? And this run looks incredible. I just want to say that. This glitchy wall kick right here. Another glitchy wall kick off the corner of the moving platform. Wall kicking or landing on. Barely landing on that one. That was... <laughs> Dang. That was great. Uh, big congratulations to Tabo for making it into round three. Unfortunately, you will not be making it into round four, but dang. You really showed off how great you are at SM64. That was that was crazy. And we're, we just started. <laughs> congratulations to Tabo. When's tier upgrade? Next up, a person who might have tasked a different game better than this one, still making it into the round of quarterfinals, saving over a second, <laughs> 15th place with a time cut of 15 seconds, yeah, saving over a second over Taba, around 1.23. In 15th place, it is Adil. Time already coming off. Congratulations to Adil on getting 15th place in this competition. Description. I ran out of funny descriptions. Oh, 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 man, you really got me that time. Let's watch the run. Starting off immediately with the punch slide kick to get this box a little faster. While kicking twice there, not doing the glitchy wall kick, actually grabbing the pole to be able to make it up, barely landing, punching and falling off to go from box to box, doing a long jump. Wow, this used some very interesting movement techniques to be able to get 15th. Great job to Adil for getting 15th place in this competition. I love that punch to slide off, as well as the slide kick at the start to be able to make it a little bit faster. Let's watch it one more time. This punch slide kick, I haven't even really considered it, but it's probably the fastest way to move when you can fall. Starting off from a pole, long jumping, nice punch. I love that punch to an immediate long jump um, to get from one box straight to the other box. Big congratulations to Adil on getting 15th place in this competition. Like, dang. This is... I, I don't know what to say that I haven't already said, but these runs are like... These are the cream of the crop tassers, and some of them are unfortunately getting eliminated. Very unfortunate. Great job to Adil. Oh no, I accidentally clicked something else. That's okay, I'm back. The legendary tales in the building. Great job to a deal on getting 15th place. But now, with another huge time cut of almost a full second, time cut of 0 0.9. Times are already flying off. In 14th place, Tejan, with the first sub 14 second run. Let's load up the run and see what they did to get this crazy time. Time's already flying off. Description. By two. <laughs> Starting off with a little nice glitchy run into the corner for kicking and breakdancing into... Starting off with another slide kick. Another glitchy wall kick as well before using the pole to get up and land on those two boxes really fast. But instead of going down, very smart there, actually using the double jump, landing on that corner box and then making it to the star. 
Everyone's getting anxious now. Everyone that's still in. That's true, I'm sorry. It is canonically called a trip. I will change my commentary. This is a very cool route. Congratulations, Sagehawk, on making it into this round. Starting off, of course, with the slide kick. Nice glitchy wall kick to be able to make it up to the pole. Landing here, falling down, and then double jumping immediately off the box before kicking and basically going straight to that fifth box. Landing on the sixth box, just be able to make it even faster to the star. Yeah, this is... This is crazy. This is crazy. Great job to Taychuck for getting 14th place in this competition. I think for the top 10, how many rewatches do you think we should do? Do you think we should do more than two? Because this is the people's last showcase in this competition for some of them. I don't know. And we have the time. Let's do it a third time. Sorry, ta sorry Taba and Adil. I think we have the time to do three. Trips in into the warp. Glitchy wall kicks up. I love the slide off right here to double jump off the box. That's probably my favorite strat I've seen so far. The kick off to the other box as well. Longer. Longer. That's true. I need to make everything in patented 1 to 59 slow mo. Hasn't that been the case this entire tourney? Maybe. But in the meantime, unfortunately, they've already probably realized that they're out. In 13th place, very unlucky, not making it into the next uh, entry. Shaving off one singular frame over Taychuk in time of 13.83. It is Mad Ghost Deck. Unlucky 13th place. Congratulations on making it into the quarterfinals. Let's watch their run. Description, 1% chance of qualifying. Yeah, unfortunate. Starting off on the sign. Whoa. What? He question marked the sign? Starting off, of course, with the slide kick to be able to make it to this first box. Glitchy wall kick. Not using the pole. Whoa, breaking from beneath that box with wall kicks. Kicking and breaking and just landing on that box as well. Slightly faster um, than Taychuk's method, I believe. That was... These are crazy. All of these are so different. The, uh, the first is up to break the wall... To break the box from below. That was crazy. Excellent run by Mad Ghost Deck. Did they just dive through the floor? I just want to point that out. <laughs> How? What? Starting off, of course, with the slide kick. And the glitchy wall kick to get up as well. But not using the pole, just breaking the box from below to be able to land on that. That's three boxes already. Kicks the box and lands on there to get two boxes and basically the same action. Landing on the final box after jumping on the fifth and then long jumping straight to the star to finish their run. Fast mode. One last final run through. The triple. Oh, man. Because I really want to know what just happened right there. <laughs> that glitchy wall kick. Of course, breaking from... Actually, what did you even wall kick off of there? Hold up. Did you wall kick off of that box? I didn't even realize you could do that. I didn't even... Huh. Wall kicked off the box basically from below. Yeah. I didn't even watch that in the first two. Alright, well, I obviously did, but I didn't notice that. that They wall kicked off of the box while breaking it. Great job to Mad Ghost Deck getting 13th place. Next up, in 12th place, shaving off one third of a second. 0.33. Well, I know you can wall kick off of boxes and break them, guys, but I didn't realize you could wall kick off of that one. I thought it was flush with the floor. Great job to Mad Ghost Deck, proving me that I need to learn the level geometry a little bit better. Next up. In 12th place. Nonsense. With a time of 13 and a half seconds. Big rip to the homie Nonsense getting eliminated. Doing two speed kicks to the pole. Going up on top, uh, past the pole. Not even using it as well. Nice grinding right there. Falling off. Wow. Here we go. 
This is a big rip to nonsense. Only making it to quarterfinals. As time goes on, it's just going to get more and more sad. More and more people getting eliminated. Let's watch one more time. Just starting off with just a jump and two speed kicks to be able to make it to the box a little bit faster. You're even seeing some dust right there because you can cancel it with the slide off. Great job to nonsense. Diving and dive recovering onto that final box to be able to make it into the star. These runs are so clean. It really hurts to like say congratulations but you're not making it because these runs are incredible. He did not grab the pull. <laughs> Starting off with just a single jump to be able to make it to this box with two speed kicks. Goes past the pull to be able to make it up and get good angles here to get to the second and third box while punching to get to the fourth. That punch to the fourth, they can easily turn to get to the fifth um, right in the stairs and then just go to the sixth and finish their run. Exactly. This is nonsense. He can't be eliminated. It's impossible. I just love... I can't not watch Nonsense Runs. I can't not subscribe to his YouTube channel, which someone should link right now. Up to the box. Punch off to the box. All those boxes basically in a straight line. That's how good this guy is at optimizing. Here we go. Great job, Nonsense, for getting 12th place. Unfortunately... You will not be continuing on to the next round, but thank you for participating and making it into the top quarter of all SM64 Tassers. Next up, in 11th place, with a time cut of 0.17, a big name getting out here, an actual SM64 legend of the Tassing community. In 11th place, Homer Funky, with a time of Leet. Let's load up their run. Unfortunate to Homer Funky that they will not be continuing on, but still, I'm very excited to see this run. Starting off, of course, with the punch slide kick to get over a little bit faster. Glitchy wall kick and a triple jump off there to wa whoa! Whoa! How do I commentate that? How do I commentate that? We're watching that one more time so I can actually figure out the words to say. Starting off with a slide kick to be able to make it and land on the first one. Breaking the box with the wall kick. Punching off and breaking that one. And actually jumping from below using the tilt of the moving platform to break that box. That of the moving platform. That was very big brains using the slight tilt of the moving platform after you land on it for a little bit um, to actually get underneath the box and break from it. How can we eliminate this? How can we say this isn't good enough? This is... Ah! This hurts me inside. I don't know if it was jump. It was probably a grind. It's kind of hard to see in real time. I'll watch it one more time just to make sure. And it's, it's leap time. How can we eliminate this? Glitchy wall kick. Triple jump to break the block. Punch off. Cancel. It looked to be some kind of a grind. Landing on the fifth and sixth boxes and doing a jump dive into the star to finish their run. That was pro. Dang. Next up. In 10th place. So close, yet so far. Shaving off 0.2. Sorry, 0.24. Almost a quarter of a second over Homer Funky. In 10th place. 4232 Niss. The time of 13.13. .13. Well, you should have known what you were getting yourself into, Niss. That's double unlucky. Very unfortunate that they will not be making it on into the next round of the SM64 Tassing Tournament. There are big names being killed off here. Huge names. Starting off just with, not with a slide kick that other people have been doing. A little bit of a weird glitchy wall kick angle to be able to make it up. 
completely different box route, including kicking that using the sign push a little bit. How could we eliminate this? He did a different glitchy wall kick that was faster. Look at this glitchy wall kick that he does at the start here. Everyone else just did the standard glitchy wall kick so far to get up, but he did a different one with a different angle to be able to make it up a little bit faster here. Look at that glitchy wall kick angle to be able to make it up straight to there with the triple jump. Different box order here as well too, just to be able to go straight to the sixth box and make it to the star to finish their run. Of course, we gotta do the triple. Very unfortunate it is that they will not be continuing, but dang. That glitchy wall kick just gets me to be able to triple jump all the way up. And just wall kicking off that box as well to be able to make it to the fifth one. That glitchy wall kick angle just did that. And that's eliminated. Sorry, Niss. And now, who will be the final person eliminated? Will it be the legendary CSC not doing enough work to get eliminated? Will it be the Project M Tasser Dylan Stege barely saving a frame and getting eliminated? Hint, it will be. Will it be Fifth Dispense unfortunately not saving enough time? There's so many people. Who will be the last elimination? Hint, it's Dylan Stege. Who will it be? <sighs> unfortunately, coming in ninth place, Wait, hold up, this isn't right. How could this happen? That's right, with the luckiest tie of all time, of all time, in eighth place, <laughs> with the first sub 13 time in eighth place ERGC Xander. <laughs> Congratulations to Xander on making it into the next round. One of two people to do so in eighth place. Turns out, saving that frame really ended up mattering, didn't it? Yo, time save with no brim. Description. Low stress, because I'm happy enough to made it this far. It's an honor to compete amongst the best. Well, turns out, Xander, you get to compete one more time, making it in by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> Let's watch their run. Punching and sliding into the warp. Doing completely different route. Completely different. Starting off at the bottom and making their way up. Wow. Completely different route. The box is basically in reverse order from everyone else. Congratulations to Xander on being one of the nine people to make it into the round of eight. With a completely different original route. No one else has done anything even close to this. Starting off by going to the left and getting the sixth box first. Getting the box on the stairs while kicking off of it and going all the way up top. Enabling them to get the box on the platform, the box next to the elevator, and then just moving over. Get the final box that everyone's been glitchy wall kicking off of. And then making it into the star. Congratulations to Xander on being one of the nine people to make it into top eight. This, you'll, this is the luckiest tie. I never expected to actually have a tie uh, have people allowed in. I never expected that to actually happen, but I'm so glad it happened here. While kicking off of that box to be able to make it up. It, uh, while kick, there's just excellent usage of the level geometry with a completely original route so far. Great job to Xander for getting 8th place in this competition. <laughs> Xander, saving that frame really did uh, help you there. <laughs> you saved any less... If he saved any less time, he would have been eliminated. That's how close this is. This is the closest it could possibly be. And it's the first... It turns out everyone that got sub-13 made it in. Yet another time where that, that time just... You really need it. 
you get sub 13, you make it on. If you don't, well, I'm sorry. Next up, also in 8th place, also making it in by one singular frame. Congratulations to the legendary Tasser 5th Dispense, also with a time of 12.97. Let's load up their run and see what they did to tie Xander's time. Saving a VI, actually, literally saving half a frame, which is technically possible, would have also <laughs> not enabled that to happen. Also doing this route. Turns out this route just is faster than the other ones. But completely different. Wall kicking off of there just needs to go to the one in the corner here. Quick turn, wow, that was a very fast quick turn wall. I expected like, I expected a wall, like landing on top and a wall kick afterwards, but this that's even faster. Great job to Fifth Dispense, who saved three frames yesterday. That three frames ended up being life or death, all three of them necessary to continue on in this competition. Landing on the first box, the second box on the stairs, and triple jumping and wall kicking to beat to those two boxes. Unfortunately, they have to go use that wall kick there. Fortunately for them, it didn't actually matter. Great job to Fifth Dispense on getting eighth place. And making it into the next round, the semifinals, semifinals of the SM64 TAS Tournament 2020. Let's do the final rewatch. Re Re I don't know what I just said there. Congratulations to Fifth Dispense on eliminating some like crazy tassers. Starting off with the left route. Landing on all these boxes while kicking off that one. Nice double jump actually to get to that fifth uh, box and land on it. Was that a misalignment you used there to land a little bit faster? It probably wasn't considering how the level's laid out. But either way, great job to Fifth Dispense on making it in. How this tournament works, uh, the people in the top half make it into the next round. The people in the bottom half do not. That's how this tournament works. Not even one glitchy wall kick. Yeah, we should eliminate them just based on that. Great job to Fifth Dispense on getting 8th place and making it into the next round. One of nine. Yeah, no, no misalignment on that corner, I figured. But anyways, how can you beat those crazy runs? On to 7th place with a time save of 0.2. Alex Palix won. Congratulations on a time of 12.77, a placement of seventh, and being able to continue on into the next round. With a link of a YouTube video. He's baiting me into watching this, and I will at least look at what it is. Let's see. Description. It's the worst line reading ever. From Ryan O'Neill, Tough Guys Don't Dance. I will not play that on screen, because <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm thank thank you for thank you for linking it. Another left route. Every person that did the left route made it in. Every person that did the right route did not. This came down to who could find the best routes. Just barely landing on the top of that right there. Another quick turn long jump wall kick. Great job to Alex Palix getting 7th place. Let's watch that back one more time. I'll try to commentate a little better because I was answering a question or something. Starting off by going a left route. With a slide kick, of course, a little bit faster. Wall kicking. Getting the one on the platform. Wall kicking off of the elevator one and getting the one on the very top. It needs to do that quick turn. Uh, long jump wall kick to get to the one on the bottom. The fastest way to do it. That one on the bottom just slightly awkward. You've really got to shave off a bunch of time by doing that quick turn there. Great job to Alex Palix for making it into the next round. Over some legendary tassers too. And the final rewatch. I love Mario's movement. It's so good. I love that grinding there to cancel the um, rollout as well. Great job to Alex Palix. Congratulations on making it in. Next up, 
in sixth place. Continuing the trend of the person having the time somewhere, or having their placing somewhere in their time in sixth place with a time of 12.60. Congratulations to MK Dasher, legendary Tasser, legendary RTA player, legendary person. Love you, MK. Let's load up their run. Description, confidence is pretty low. And then some emote after that. Another left route. Turns out everyone so far that's done the left route. Nice pause buffered wall kick. Using the... <laughs> Whoa. Falling down there as well. Faster maybe than having to do that quick turn wall kick. This is not a rebroadcast. This is live. Congratulations to MK Dasher on getting 6th place in this competition. Let's watch that back one more time. And then another time. Doing the left route. Pause buffered wall kick. Landing on the box after using that. Quick turn to be able to make it onto that box. Diving off of that box after falling from all the way on the top and then making it into the star. Ted's gonna have to learn to be like an auctioneer. Of course. Misalignment third box. Alright, let's watch it back. I figured there was something going on with it. That's a unit, uh, unit specific trick to land on this third box. Pay attention to how he approaches the corner of it. Pause over wall kick. You shouldn't be able to make that dive recover. That dive recover is very, very precise. Landing on that sixth box and then making it into the star. Such a cool route. Ended up getting you sixth place. Next time though, you need at least fourth. So you gotta bring your A game next time, MK. Sixth place will not be good enough. Congratulations on making it into the next round. Next up, he already knows what placing he has now. Shaving off a singular frame over MK in fifth place, continuing the trend of the time or the placement being in the time. In fifth place, Dylan Stege. Congratulations to Dylan. Sorry for messing with you earlier. You probably went ballistic. Congratulations on saving the frame and getting 5th place in this competition. Description, Hype 3, the search for Hype 2. Nice Spaceballs reference. Another left route. Left route, probably the fastest route. Wow, not even first seeing off of that. Interesting. Wow, breaking that basically with a dive. Just jumping into the box, breaking it, and then diving immediately. Great job to Dylan. Not needing to go all the way up, allowing them to save a little bit of time and land on that box a little bit faster. There's so many boxes. I love the box 5 break. Wall kicks off of box 2 to be able to make it up to box 3. I love that break right there. You used to do that quick turn to land on to get the final box and then make it into the star. The first D was probably slower because you need to get more height from that wall kick. So that's why they did a second frame wall kick there instead of a, a later wall kick, or an earlier wall kick. I love that dive. The dive to break wall 5 is the highlight of this task. Wall 5, box 5 I should say. Yeah, because you need to land after that wall kick. That's why. Congratulations to Dylan Stedge. But once again, I shall... Also tell you, 5th place will not be enough next time, so you gotta bring your better game, Dylan. I need to see 4th place or higher if you want to continue on in this tournament. Congratulations. Next up, into the top 4. These people would have made it on into the next round next time. 4th place or better is what's gonna be needed next time. In 4th place, shaving one singular frame off of Dylan, it is Speedy Cubed. Congratulations Speedy Cubed and beating some legendary Tassers. Let's watch this back. Description. When the... Left route. Dive recovering off that box. First glitchy wall kick we've seen in a while. Very great route here. Allowing them to just fall and make it into the star to finish their run. That was speedy, alright. Wow, nice free run. I loved that glitchy wall kick.
Let's watch it back. Starting off with a slide kick, of course, to be able to make it to the grounded box. Glitchy wall kick to be able to make it up to the other one. Jumps up. Just very great route. Very incredible route by Speedy Cubed to get fourth place in this competition. That, what else can you say other than smooth? I, I really don't know. It was very smooth. It just looked so good. Making it onto the corner right there. Glitchy wall kick. Canceling the dive with a little nice little grind. Landing on the last box and then doing some dives and a single jump over to the star. Huh, I wonder if that was faster than a jump dive. <laughs> yeah, t Ghost, this is actually very convenient for Dennis because the bottom the bottom eight did the bad route and the top eight, well, the bottom seven and the top nine did the other route. So this is very convenient. <laughs> did we watch it three times? I don't care. This is top four. We can watch this as many times as we want. Starting off with a slide kick, of course. Glitchy wall kick. They had a side flip wall kick to be able to make it up. Very great routing by Speedy Cubed and a very nice fourth place. Great job to Speedy Cubed getting fourth place in this competition. Getting, unfortunately, I should say, I forgot to mention this earlier, but this is the first fourth place of the competition. So far in the past couple of rounds, there has not been a fourth place. So, this is the first time that CSZ has not gotten fourth. <laughs> Just want to point that out. Rip CSZ. The first time, in the last couple rounds, there's always been a tie for fifth. Every time. And that warp is actually not there. This is a custom modified warp. This is edited warp, so that warp is not there usually. But I should say, next up, in third place, shaving off... 0.43 with a relatively large time cut. This is the biggest time cut since all the way back to Taychuck and Adil. Huge time cut so far. Congratulations to third place, Rush57, with a time of 12.10. Wow. How are the big time cuts always this far in the competition? Description. Guys. It's him. Big shout outs to Rush, and big shout outs to anyone who actually gets that joke. Nice camera. This is the camera we really love to see. Oh, did we got a full Mario cam? Aw. Pause buffered wall kick, and two pause buffered wall kicks. A quick turn right there to just land and slide off that box. You know who's really in top three, guys? It's him, Rush. Wow, Kaze doesn't get it. I guess no shoutouts to Kaze. Let's watch that back one more time. Those two pause buffered wall kicks. <laughs> Landing on the first one, kicking up. Two pause buffered wall kicks to be able to wall kick up even faster than having to use the back wall. Landing on the final box and doing a jump dive to get to the star. A little bit faster. Yeah, I'm g sorry. This is obviously tool assisted. I'm going to have to DQ you. Sorry, Rush. Let's watch it back for the final run. Final round, rather. Big shout outs to Keys, I should say. Starting off with a slide kick. Canceling off with a dive. Pause buffered, pause buffered. For those of you that don't. For those of you that don't know why those are pause buffered, basically in SM64 you can't press A on two consecutive frames, otherwise the game will just think you're holding it. So if you pause, release A, and then unpause, that's what, al that's what allows you to press A on two consecutive in-game frames. So that was so precise, they were so close there, they needed to press A twice on two consecutive frames, like literally twice. That's how precise this run was. Great job to Rush for getting third place with it. Did I watch it three times? I don't care. We're watching it again. I'm sorry. I've probably watched it three times by now. I'm counting as hard. 
Quote, quote me on that. Pause, buffer. Pause, buffer. Quick turn. Another quick turn. Really excellent usage of Mario's movement to be able to do this entire run. And then for a fifth time, rush of... No. Let's watch the next run. With a time cut of... Two. Or point two, I should say. Almost point two. <laughs> Not a time cut of two seconds. That would be crazy, though. In second place, with a time of 11.93, it is CSZ. Congratulations, CSZ, on the first sub-12 run of this competition. Getting a hot second. Starting off, oh wait, are we doing this route? Glitchy wall kick? Really showing just the potential that was there that everyone else seemed to miss. I did not expect to see this route in the top eight. And CSE destroyed me getting it in second place. What? I thought this route was slow. And he got sub 12 with it. Yo. I did not expect to see this. You have the insane triple jump right here. The glitchy wall kick triple jump to be able to get to those two boxes immediately. Punching off. Using the little elevator there and going into the star. How did you... How? <laughs> Every, everyone is so confused. I'm confused. Everyone is like, how did you do this? How did you get second place with this route? You're insane. How did you beat this many legendary tassers? Glitchy wall kick right there. Triple jump to make it over to that box. Using the... Canceling the dive with the little, like, switch on the platform. Okay. We'll watch it one more time in a little bit of slow-mo. Because that... I did not expect to see this route at all anymore. Slide slow-mo. Starting off with a punch slide kick. Glitchy wall kick, triple jump to be able to make it up to that box. Jump dive, grinding to cancel the jump dive. Canceling the dive and getting another dive out by using the switch and then going into the star. Great job to CSZ. Destroying everyone. Like, so far. There's only one person that beat them. Which route did they use? I don't know anymore. I was pretty confident they would go the left route, but... CSZ really proving me wrong here. Excellent job, Sam. And now... In first place... With another relatively large time cut this late in the competition. So far, second to first has been a pretty big, substantial time cut. The biggest time cut since Speedy Cubes to Rush, fourth to third, in first place, the time of 11.60, shaving off a third of a second over CSZ. Dargos. How did you save off so much time? How? That's the wrong run. How did you do it, Dargos? Just author, it's him. How? Starting off with a slide kick as well. Another right route. Was right route the fastest route? Whoa. Whoa. What? Excuse me, Dargos? Right route, fastest route. You heard it here first. What? Okay, we're going to have to watch that in slow-mo twice, because I don't understand what just happened. I'm the commentator. This is my job, to understand what just happened. And I don't understand what just happened. Okay, I understand this part. Glitchy wall kick. Glitchy wall kick right there. I, I, I tried to commentate it. I tried. How could you commentate that? Okay, we're doing this run in slow-mo twice because, what? Yeah. 
Starting off with the slide kick. I understand this part. Triple jump, glitchy wall kick to be able to get up. Getting speed, glitchy wall kick, breaking the box from below. Breaking the box with two. Doing a C up jump to land in that box a little bit faster. Wall kicking and then... Okay. That wasn't even the patented slow-bo. That was just so I could understand what I just saw. That was so unique of a route. The usage, excellent usage of that slope to get speed and just go all the way around the level. Slower. Yeah, of course slower. We're going 33% speed. Okay. This part I understand. We can speed up a little bit on this part. Slide kick. Glitchy wall kick up. Okay. Get speed from this slope. Glitchy wall kicks off the corner. Breaks the box from below there. An a regular wall kick and a double jump to be able to make it up to the all the way wall kick off of that while still breaking it. Getting the upward speed cancelled by hitting it. See up jump sliding off the corner of this block. Falling down after bonking, doing a quick turn to long jump and wall kick off of that box with speed. Landing on the final box and then going into the star. Yeah. And one more time in slow-mo because, uh, yeah. Actually, one more time at regular speed. Just to be able to watch it one back one more time. I'll just let it stand for itself. That run was a well-deserved first place, destroying everyone. Excellent job to Dargas. I will see you in the next round. One of nine people to make it into the round of eight. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing it frame by frame. Come on, guys. Not doing it that long. That long. I already basically did. That was the slowest I've ever gone in the actual task. Faster. Fast. 200%. 200% run. 200%. You're right. Now I'm patting one to nine fast mode. Excellent run by Darkos. <laughs> Congratulations on making it into the next round of the SM64 Task Competition. You're sitting pretty with a nice first place. In the meantime, though, thank you all for watching. We do have the next task to show off. This next task is a doozy of a task. I'm very excited to see all of these nine entrants. Next task. In a rainbow ride, close the star text. The uh, save state does start with star text open. Close the star text. Collect 8 out of 10 custom placed red coins. That's right, 10 of them. And you can avoid 2 of them completely. Finish by collecting the star on the cruiser. That is in its normal vanilla location on the very edge right here. Actually, no, that's not in its normal vanilla location. What am I talking about? It's a little higher, it looks like. And, yeah. Definitely not. It's normal than another location. <laughs> I am very excited to see all of these entrants. All of these nine entrants. So, for those of you that will be keeping track, making top half so far has gotten harder and harder. <laughs> Everyone's saying, I'm done. Lol. <laughs> you can see the ten red coins on screen. It's easy. Um, for this next task, there's going to have to be some five people cut out. Yeah, that's not its middle location. Sorry about that. Um, there's going to have to be a total of five people. You don't... Making top half is not enough this time. You need to make better than top half. You need to get four out of nine. I'm very excited to see who will make it into this next top half. The people that made it in. Congratulations to everyone that made it in to the round... Or the semifinals, I should say. Those people who made it into the semifinals, of course, being ERGC Xander, Fifth Dispense, Alex Palix One, MK Dasher, Dylan Stege, Speedy Cubed, Rush57, CSZ, and Dargoss. 
I should reiterate, this is due on May 9th at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to join the Discord if you want to learn more about it. Infinite wing cap. That's the cool thing. Infinite wing cap. You have wing cap the entire time. I feel like I should have mentioned that. Um, so this is very unique in that you have wing cap the entire time. How do you use it the best with no BLJ? Let's see who can fly the best out of everybody. In the meantime, though, I have been your host, 11059. Congratulations for everyone uh, for entering and making it into the next round. I've been your host, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.